Why is it that so many people are starting businesses? Matter of fact, why is it that the government favors business owners? Some people may not think it's true, but let's face it, it is. And I'm actually gonna share with you why that's the case and how you can save money as a business owner. So let's get right into it. Let's first all start off with talking about what a small business is. So the IRS specifically made Guides for Small Business publication 334 and 535. But for the sake of it, let's just run down here and see exactly what the IRS considers to be a trade or a business. A trade or a business is generally an activity carried on to make a profit. So why is that phrase so important and why do we care? Well, it's because anything that we do in exchange for money can be considered a business. So let's run through the list. You can be in real estate. And I don't care if you're a real estate agent or an investor, whatever you're doing with those houses is probably in exchange for money, should be. Or maybe you own your own construction company where you're doing labor for profit. But it doesn't even have to be that complicated. You could simply be selling t-shirts out the truck of your garage. Maybe you're doing mechanic work on people's cars for a little chunk of change. Or maybe you're editing YouTube videos. Either way it goes, they can all be considered businesses. But how does it actually save you money? Well, that brings us back to the IRS publication 535 where it provides guidance on what type of business expenses are deductible when filing a tax return. That's right, it's the deductions. It's all the tax incentives that you get as a business owner. So here in the United States, we actually follow a progressive tax system, which means that we're taxed in brackets or in tiers. Now, if you're really interested in the tax brackets, then you have to Google it because it changes every year. However, I like to think of the tax bracket as an actual ladder. And this is an oversimplification, but hopefully it'll drive home the point. Now, the first rung on the ladder is for all the money you make up to $10,000. On that $10,000, you'll only be taxed, say, 10%. Now, the next rung on the ladder starts at that $10,000, and it goes all the way up to $40,000. So now, $10,001 all the way to $40,000 is gonna be taxed at 12%. And it goes all the way up until you hit the high, which is 37% as of now. And just remember, this is just an example. They're not accurate. You gotta go Google them to get the up-to-date ones. So what do these numbers mean to you? Well, when you're a sole owner of a business, especially a sole proprietor and LLC, then you can take all the income that you make from the business and treat it as if it was just your own. So now you wanna make sure that you're bringing it from that top rung to as low as possible to save taxes. Well, publication 535 is going to help you understand exactly what you can take off as deductions by owning a business. And there are so many but we'll just list a few here. Your mileage expenses, all of your traveling expenses to include lodging and food, any marketing fees, operating expenses, and the one that I love the most, which is the home office expense, where you now can actually write off a portion of your mortgage or your rent. We're only scratching the surface of these topics. So if you guys wanna learn more about this, then go ahead and leave it in the comments below and let me know. And I'll make sure to make some more content diving in a little bit deeper. But the moral of the story is, you can actually save money by becoming a business owner. Hope you guys enjoyed this content. And if you did, you'd be doing me a solid. If you don't mind, just go ahead and hitting that like button there. And then please leave comments below about some of the topics that you're interested in. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.